Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a stride towards technological supremacy, the British Army has initiated trials of a groundbreaking mobile directed energy system under Project Ealing, as reported by Gabrielle Molinelli on X, Twitter. This cutting edge endeavor harnesses advanced radio frequency, RF, technology to combat drone threats, marking a pivotal step in the Army's quest for strategic superiority. Additionally, plans to deploy laser weapons by 2027 underscore the Army's unwavering commitment to enhancing its operational capabilities on the modern battlefield. At the heart of Project Ealing lies the innovative radio frequency cannon, meticulously engineered to detect, track, and engage a myriad of targets spanning air, land, and sea domains. Departing from conventional paradigms, the system boasts a sleek, compact design mounted on an HX-60 truck, ensuring enhanced deployability and maneuverability in dynamic operational environments. Demonstrated alongside the 7th Air Defense Group at Thorny Island, the system showcases formidable capabilities in disrupting multiple drones simultaneously, employing potent RF transmissions akin to the renowned Epirus Leonidas system utilized by the U.S. Army. Matt Cork, the program manager at the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, DSTL, at Porton Down, elucidated on the system's operational mechanics, elucidating its ability to generate electromagnetic pulses, EMPs, that interface with electronic circuits, inducing overload and subsequent shutdown. This non-lethal approach offers a strategic advantage, enabling the temporary incapacitation of electronic systems without causing permanent damage, thereby mitigating threats posed by explosive-laden drones prevalent in contemporary conflicts. Trials under Project Ealing signify the Ministry of Defense's inaugural foray into user experimentation with electromagnetic pulse technology, underscoring its strategic significance in modern warfare. As the 7th Air Defense Group prepares to embark on field testing this summer, alongside the Dragonfire laser system slated for deployment in September, meticulous evaluations will ensue to ascertain the practical applications and potential enhancements for both technologies. Defense Secretary Grant Shapps underscored the broader implications of radio frequency weapons, particularly in light of escalating electronic warfare observed in conflict zones like Ukraine. Emphasizing the pivotal role of such technologies in future conflicts, Shapps highlighted the imperative of conducting operations in radio wave-dominated environments, affirming the British Army's unwavering commitment to technological innovation and operational excellence on the global stage. In essence, Project Ealing epitomizes the British Army's relentless pursuit of cutting-edge solutions to address emerging threats, solidifying its position at the forefront of military innovation. With mobile-directed energy systems poised to redefine the contours of modern warfare, the Army stands primed to navigate the complexities of 21st-century conflict with unprecedented agility and efficacy. That's all for now, see you later.